All right, here are solutions to problem seven from the math subject GRE exam. Uh, you're given this graph here, which is the graph of the derivative of f. Be careful there, it's not the graph of f. And you're told that f is continuous and differentiable in this interval. And you're asked to order f of zero, f of two, and f of four. So do not say that f of zero is three, because it's not necessarily three. It's f prime of zero that's equal to three. So if you stare at this graph, you'll note that the derivative is positive when x is between zero and two. So what that tells me is that everywhere from zero to two, my graph is increasing. And from two to four, the derivative is a negative number, so therefore everywhere from two to four, my graph is decreasing. So my graph goes up and then comes back down. So what that tells me is that f of two is certainly the largest number here, because my graph went up and then my graph went back down. So I've eliminated a lot of these choices. I'm down to just two. Uh, but then you're trying to figure out what's bigger, f of 0 or f of 4. You're like, well, you went up and then went back down. Are they the exact same? How do I figure that out? Well, the way you can figure it out is based on the magnitude. Note that the derivative up here is a lot greater than the derivative down here. Uh, if you know Calc 2, you can talk about the area underneath this curve versus the area here. But I think more intuitively, f of 0 has some height. I don't know where the hell it is. I'll put it here. I have no idea where it is. And then my function is going up, and it's going up really, really fast. So it's steep. We're talking about something like this. And it gets less and less steep until I get to 2 where it kind of flattens off. But it was going up really, really quick. Now it's going down, but not that fast. Going down something like this. Not a great drawing, but it's close enough. And then it flattens back out at 4. So if you sketch an approximate graph like this, even if you don't know that the area underneath the curve uh, antiderivative ideas, you can still order the three of these guys. f of two is the greatest, f of four is the second greatest, and f of zero is the smallest. So c would be my answer.